a quick play, the ball. I'll head back to the right where Keery goes in and away. He beat two. Gives it to Wigan Butcher. He plants it down. Short-handed as they are. Things happen here for the Roosters. A little bit of footwork at the at the line. Kick out got caught flat-footed. Pass on the outside to Butcher. Look at that little bit of footwork. Throws, throws the dummy. Gets the pass away. Curran can't make the tackle over the top. And Ethan Butcher. Sandwich there between Burden and also Salmon. Last tackle. Short side they go. White trying to spin his way in. The Roosters think he scored. And so does the referee. White just to stretch out and score the try. They've been a different side in the second half. Brandon Smith. Starting to certainly making more meters at the moment, despite having the one man short. Oh, Perez no. puts it down. Oh. Tupo taps it back. It is play on here. Butchers in again. Three tries in the second half so far. The Bulldogs starting to slow up through the middle. You see that yardage set there. They went to the middle third and went straight down the middle with their middle middle men. The Bulldogs' heart really did it tough to hang on. Finally found the formula for the completion rate right up for the Roosters in the second half. Got a lot of balls and good field position. Now Watson. Here is Kerry. Oh, back on the inside. Manu for the corner. Taken down by Crichton. Spins his way in. The Roosters are coming to get them. Out there from Watson. They're full of running. Look at the players in motion. The money ball back on the inside from Crichton. Look at that. Spins out of the tackle. Just outside the 20. Comes to Kiri. Now Manu. Jennings. Good hands. Tupo back on the angle. Daniel Tupo scores. This is remarkable. It's unbelievable. For the 11 man Roosters. And will give them a chance here to pull off their most unlikely victory in 100 and. Down inside that red zone now, comes away to Radley, stopped by Braley around the legs. 11 away, Brandon Smith, left to Luke Keary, Manu joining in, floats a pass out in front of Tupo, glorious! Full pass, Joey Manu, Harvey Norman replay. Just watch the way Ponga comes across on Tupo. He throws his head, player with a history of head knocks by like Kalen. Watch it here. It's a beautiful pass from Joey Manu. Yeah, it's a lovely play. He just knew that his winger was going to be on the spot. It just floats it. Nice cutout pass. Tupo, he doesn't have to break stride at all. It's a nice finish. And yeah, look, it's awkward contact. Nothing illegal, I don't think. Lovely play by the Roosters. Freddie. Smith's done some very encouraging stuff. What a ball, Manu. Kiri backing out. Radley into the backfield. They go over again. Great play by the Roosters. Straight through the centre. A quick play of the ball. Lovely play of the ball there from Tupo. Away he went. Markers aren't set. Well, Joey Manu, he, he still had plenty of work to do. Harvey Norman replay. Victor Radley backing up down the middle. Joey, you've got some concerns with Caelan Ponga. Well, he's gone. You watch him here. And this is how I thought that attack all out, out of dummy half of Brendan Smith playing to him, Joseph Manu. Kiri, great support. I don't know, you'll see it here with Kalen. He's, uh, he can't even move. Look, the reaction. And Victor Radley, he goes over. Hasn't it changed? Completion of the last 10 minutes. And Manu, gee, he has been blistering. This, this is just wrong. 15 away. Smith picks it up, runs straight through the centre. Untouched, scores the Roosters third. But just look at Ponger on the ground. He can't get up. There's no markers. Defenders all trying to get back on side. That's just a walk in the park. Play five now. Smith floats a pass out. May gives it away to Tupo. And the Knights are coming, but they won't stop him from getting it down. Way outside Angus Crichton there. He's the one that ends up with the final pass. Bat on by Angus Crichton. Nice little draw and pass to the winger. That's usually what the halves are doing. Next tackle made by Harry Grant. He's not supposed to be over there. Manu, Watson, Kiri. Here's another jumping contest. Tupo with the running. Warbrick with the standing start. It's on the ground and it's a try to the Roosters. 
so knocked forward by Warbrick. And Meany has a chance, but the ball escapes his grasp. And Michael Jennings, who... Here is the man. He's going to pull the trigger out to Swali. He, he flew, he tapped it back. That's amazing skill by Swali. And Manu was waiting and accepts gleefully. Bring up the 300th for the Roosters against the Broncos next week. Played underneath the post. It goes to Walker. Tedesco quick hands on. Dominic Young. Dominic Young reaches out and scores. Flanagan has actually hasn't got control. Harvey Norman replay. Flanagan on the bigger man. He tries to hold on. He actually lets go there. Enthusiasm got the better of them. They've got the Dragons deep in their own half on tackle four. Oh, knock on. Picked up. Jennings away now. It's a try to Crichton off the Dragons. Mistake. The fact they weren't making enough metres. Harvey Norman replay, Lomax in from his wing. He's well round up, but he decides he wants to try and promote the ball. Gets out the back, Hunt drops it, picked up by Jennings. And the Roosters are racing to go to the lead. Tedesco coming through and supports Sloan, gets it. He couldn't link in with the captain, Tedesco. Walker over the top, Manu chasing, he's got a free run to the ball. Manu gets it, the Roosters are humming. Well, I'm quite vocal about young halves being overcoached in juniors. You can see this young man, his father Ben, played for the Broncos and the Northern Eagles and Manly in the halves. I mean, his uncle Shane had great success at Ipswich playing a brand of footy like this, where it was all out attack. Newly entered contract extension with the club. Walker kicks himself. He got tripped up, I think. It was a sin bin. If it's not a penalty try, it'll be a sin bin for your life. Just wait. Grant has been all going to Manu with this recalibrated Dragons defensive line. Touch back by the Roosters. Butcher! Butcher for the line, another one! It's raining <laughs> tries for the Roosters. Harvey Norman replay right on the money with Keary. The tap back. Straight into the hands of Butcher and then some tired defenders. He just pulls through them and gets to the try line. Tedesco bounced out of a tackle. Walker, Kiri, Kiri, through the line, nearly, nearly. In fact, he goes again. Kiri, and yes, over the strike. Hey, hey, hey. Is the preparedness to run, to show and go. Harvey Norman replay. Walker gets it to Kiri. He's got options, dummy, go big in between two big blokes and pull his way through, straight past. The Roosters have come down with another one. It's another kick for a try and Manu in the corner. Harvey Norman replay, ball go high, just watch the bottom of the screen. I think it's his own play. I think Jack Bird gets yeah, in his it, way. It hits Jack Bird in the back, doesn't it? Jack Bird. And then the Roosters finally get some possession and come down and go bang, bang, score two tries. Mm. Oh, ball. What a pass. Makes Teddy a time. Off you go. Tedesco's turn. He's been it's incredibly strong. Harvey Norman replay. Gets out of dummy half. Nice and quick. Oh. All in two hands. Finds Angus Crichton. And then look at the skipper go. He'd love that one, Tedesco. Combined to make the tackle. Played to Watson. Walker with another one. It's another try. This is the puppeteer. He's pulling strings. He's got the ball on the string, and it's 50 for the Chooks. Row seats. Nice angle here. So long there. Look at that. Straight into the path of his support player. Tackle, tackle five, nine yards out from your own line. Let's try a grubber kick. Oh, oh. Stop it. And now they're handing it up. So I leave you with a try. Severe obstruction here. You can't just disappear after you've passed the ball. That's not obstruction. I don't think Ben Murdoch must have that confirmed. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that's not obstruction. 